thank you. It's great to be here for this occasion. And um, I'm sorry I missed your um, words, Hannah, representing Kane. I'll send you the beating. <laughs> What's that? I'll, I'll send you the beating. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, as uh, I was listening to uh, Mo speak, some of the things he touched upon, I wanted to touch upon about education and civics and the importance of um, having local papers. Uh, the cornerstone of democracy is basically, I think, an educated um, populace or constituents of voters. Uh, they're the ones that uh, we rely on to elect people to office who are going to stand for the morals and the values and um, the things that we um, stand for in government. And the only way to do that is to make sure they're educated. And to educate them and hold government accountable, we need media outlets such as the Shrewsbury Post. And if you think today, um, more than ever, uh, there was a recent study that said approximately two-thirds, 67% of Americans report that they get at least some of their news media from social media. So think, of, think about that, almost 70%. So the days of the large newspapers that every morning people read, more, I remember when I was young, you had the morning, the morning and uh, evening edition of the Telegram Gazette. And today, you see those papers struggling. And also, as we see, as Juan was just saying, how global this is, think about what we're dealing with on a national level right now with the fake news. How, and I'm not saying whether it's true or not true, but you have the investigations going on right now about the Russians um, interfering with the elections. What, so I think what's important about this is, and I've always found this since being in office, is the local papers, the local news media outlets. They're the ones who you, you get, um, I think, the unfiltered news, the news that's coming right from the community. Um, you know, we all watch the large media outlets, and you can have the same issue being talked about by two different media outlets, yet they're totally different spins. I always found that the local papers or the local media, I shouldn't say papers, local media, and social, social media outlets are the ones now that we have to get the news directly from them that's going to be unfiltered. There's no spin. They educate us on the issue, and they, as um, it's been said, they leave it up to us to make our interpretation on how we should judge that news. Uh, and they hold us accountable. They hold government accountable, which I also think is a, um, a, a main purpose of the media, that if, uh, if no one's watching government, government can get out of control. Um, so uh, I really want to thank you for taking this, uh, I guess taking the courage, having the courage to um, open up or start this local media, social media outlet, and um, it's tough moving into a new community and reaching out and trying to, um, I guess, branch or break into the, the local democracy because as, as Mo said um, town meeting is really uh, one of the strongest I think one of the strongest aspect, aspects of government in Massachusetts if you look at other states I don't think other states can even compare to us uh, no matter what we do in the state level and I always say this about elections also you have the largest voter turnout when the president presidential campaign is then the gubernatorial campaign but one of the most important elections we have every every two to three years or every every year is actually the local election. They're the people that we send to our boards of selectmen, our school committees, that are voting on our schools, that are voting on the public safety, the things that impact us directly uh, most. So I think that's why we need a reliable source that we can trust for news, that we know is not fake news, that is reporting um, accurately in I think that's, again, going to be more important as we proceed in the future. So in recognition of having the courage to come forward and take on all this responsibility, I have for you from the State Senate, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the Shrewsbury Post in recognition of the celebration of your fourth anniversary and, the serv and serving the community as a local media resource. 
and be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends its best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to in a copy thereof transferred by the Clerk of the Senate. It is signed by Worcester's own um, Senator, Harriet Chandler, who's the Senate President, and myself, and congratulations, and we look Thank forward to many much. more of these. Thanks. 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 Thanks.